this photo here, do you know when that was taken and who's in it? We know it was taken during the First World War. My father's the little boy and we're assuming he's about six years old at this time. And the chap in the smock next to him is his father. Father always used to say the soldiers were sent home from the front to help get the harvest because uh, everything was in such a dire state. There wasn't enough food coming from America and various things, so they sent soldiers back to help get the harvest done. This grass we're walking on there, the area was known as the stackyard. And obviously when they were thrashed, the straw, as they were thrashed, the stack would be removed, the peas were taken out, and another stack was formed with the straw only. Everything was used, everything was in such short supply in those days. The fork Laura's holding, I believe, was my father's fork because he was only a boy and it's a short handled fork. Can you imagine doing the work that, that you do now with these? No, I couldn't. I, when I first started work, I was given a fork, but I'm, I'm pleased we don't have to use it anymore. We're harvesting around about 200 to 250 tonnes a day with these machines. I really cannot imagine doing this scale of operation by hand. Um, it would take literally thousands of people um, to do what these three machines do. How proud do you feel about what your, what your family did during the First World War? Well, I'm proud of what they did because they must have worked very long hours. And if they hadn't worked them, those hours then, I probably wouldn't be working my hours now.